The numbers are impressive. Irrigated agriculture consumes 70% of the global freshwater extractions, while contributing to almost half of the global food production. Nitrogen is also a key input to crop production and is widely applied in the form of synthetic fertilizer. Globally, almost half of the applied nitrogen is lost to the environment. The high irrigation water demand and fertilizer application in intensive agriculture cause serious challenges for groundwater resources and their related ecosystems. We explore the impact of intensive agriculture on groundwater resources in the citrus orchards of Valencia in Spain. Valencia is one of the major citrus producers in Europe. Due to its semi-arid climate, it heavily relies on irrigation. Irrigation combined with fertilizer have contributed to nitrogen pollution in the Valencian aquifer and the protected coastal lagoon. To increase the sustainability of citrus production, flat irrigation systems have been transformed to drip irrigation systems since the early 90s. Currently, about half of the study area is converted with the remaining area to be transformed in the coming years. These conditions make the Valencian region perfect for examining agricultural challenges in the Mediterranean area, which is why it was chosen to assess our research questions. Does the transformation from flat to drip irrigation help to improve the sustainability of citrus production? To answer this question, we collected data on agricultural practices from local field experiments and stakeholder interviews. We then combined them with meteorological data from over 50 years. All this information was used to compute the long-term water and nitrogen inputs into the regional aquifer. And here is what we found. First, the choice of an irrigation technique has a considerable impact on groundwater resources. A transformation from flood to drip irrigation reduces irrigation water use and therefore groundwater recharge. This reduction is reflected in a lower nitrogen leaching. Second, the long-term performance in flood and drip irrigation depends on annual rainfall. Groundwater recharge and nitrogen leaching are lower in dry than in wet years. Interestingly, the performance becomes similar in wet years for flood and drip irrigation. Third, the current year's nitrogen loss is impacted by the weather conditions of the previous year. Due to the memory of the nitrogen storage in the soil, nitrogen leaching is lower after relatively wet years and higher after dry years. We are convinced that our project findings on the impact of irrigation transformation on groundwater resources can guide farmers, irrigation communities and water authorities in designing solutions for a sustainable future in Mediterranean agriculture.